Good day guys, this is Nighting Guy Faith with a very special video which helps to illustrate my actual dream, real life dream that I had last week of none other than the legacy of the Uchiha clan, Sasuke Uchiha. I mean it guys, I actually had a real life dream about Sasuke twice last week when we had that snowstorm. In this short video, I will try my best with words, pictures and video clips to illustrate my visions of my dreams to you guys. I will, expect, I will explain the first dream and then the second dream. Okay, so my first dream was that Sasuke somehow was able to create a new village or community for the new Uchiha. I don't know if they were resurrected or if he repopulated the village through sex with random Konoichi or what, but all I know is that these Uchiha were close to his age, which I think Sasuke is about age 17. The reason I'm not sure is because back in the old Naruto episodes, we never saw any flashback of Sasuke playing with other young Uchiha members. He was always playing with like his classmates, like you know, maybe like Sakura or whatever, Team 7. Um, he also played with, you know, Itachi or wanted to play with Itachi and sometimes his toys. So that's why I'm not sure if they were resurrected, but anyway, you know, they were there. And Sasuke was leading this group of young Uchiha men behind the buildings as if, you know, he was showing them the grounds of the new Uchiha community. And guys, the architecture of the buildings were impressive, outstanding. Not like the old Konoha architecture, you know, with pipes everywhere with the whole damn plumbing system outside of the building. Nor did it look like any other village. It was very modern, almost like how it is today. It did not have too much of a traditional Japanese look to it. Um, and a very important detail was that it had no surrounding walls. Because if you remember, that's how the Uchiha were segregated in Konoha by this massive wall. It was very open and in a way but not exactly it was like almost the same setup sort of like the architecture in the naruto filler episodes called you know chikara power remember the chikara that cool Chaka chikara uh, filler episode we had that the architecture in those buildings it kind of looked like it a little bit um another very impressive thing was that sasuke had a humble smile it was very peaceful not air to air not a big smile but you could see, you could tell that he, he was blissfully happy inside. And I just woke up because I couldn't take it. <laughs> Too happy. My next dream was that Sasuke had awakened, not the Renegade, but an entirely new Sharingan. It was, it was very hard to explain, but instead of uh, having three dots in his eyes, it was like he had six and they were spinning, not always in a circle. But they were, the spinning or the swirl of dots were randomized. They were going any direction and leave a slight trail. And, you know, it was like always in motion. It's hard to explain it. You guys, you know, you would just have to be in my limited Sukoyomi dream uh, to understand. But the result was an impressive, almost kaleidoscopic Sharingan, looking Sharingan. Then I just woke up. Because again, you know, I was just too excited. <laughs> now that I think about it, I believe that that dream was actually influenced that by the fact or, or theory that um, no two snowflakes are exactly alike and the, the dream took place in a snowstorm. Um, but this dream, you know, you know, also, also guys, I, I wonder, right, am I going crazy? Because I was dreaming about Naruto. I initially thought so, but I know dreams serves as representations. And then all I know is that I felt very good dreaming about this. So I'm happy about that. So that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about my dream. How would you feel if you have a dream about Naruto? Uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, Jala.